I'm the team manager and one of the coaches for the junior British bouldering team. Uh, so I guess there's sort of like there's an international lead team, uh, but for the boulder juniors specifically, I look after those guys. This day is for all the best kids um, from the national youth climbing series. So these guys really are the future of GB climbing. Really, um, so this is a day for them to find out what it takes to be a top international athlete and how they can begin, I guess, developing the things that they will need later on. Now. So it's a way of them understanding what top level performance is and how they're going to develop those things. And, and as a young athlete, what can they do right now to make sure that future happens really? In terms of the junior team, my goal is to transition as many top junior athletes into the senior setup. So some of them will have won medals, some of them might not have. But I guess in terms of athleticism, I want to hand over to the, the senior team uh, a bunch of robust athletes that are ready to accept that next level. Um, so while I would say that international stuff is important, we also have a holistic view as well about the well-being of the person and their future with the sport as well, I would say. When we began the team, um, we're in our fourth year now with the bowling team. Um, the first cohort of kids that came in were fantastic and you know they're top of their game in the country. But Tom and I back then were were concerned, you know, that we were like, well, hang on a minute, how how sort of healthy in terms of their body strength are these young people? Can they touch their toes? You know, um, why are their shoulders rounded like that? And suddenly we started to see a very different picture. And when you're working with an athlete for a long period of time, if they're already coming in very specifically strong in climbing, you kind of, it's very difficult to, to take that any further. And what we started to develop was a system with Tim whereby we could look at the athletes in a functional way. My main role is first and foremost making sure that uh, the athletes are, are healthy, are functioning, um, they're not at risk of injury uh, and making sure that they can maintain that throughout the season. Um, and then secondly, pretty much designing all of the off the wall based stuff. Um, so any of the strength conditioning work that they're doing, any of the the flexibility and mobility kind of stuff as well. Um, so it involves quite a lot really. When we first set the team up a couple of years ago, um, we realised that as, as a climbing community in the UK, we're very over-specialised, so we tend to see a lot of, of poor postures. Um, and particularly when we, we looked at our athletes out in Europe, they looked very different to, to the athletes that, that we were competing against. Um, and one of the first things we realised was that actually, because of this over-specialisation, we tend to have a less well-rounded athlete. So one of the things that we wanted to create was not just great climbers, but great athletes. At a young age, this is when we're trying to establish good habits so that they're used to thinking about their bodies and how they can maintain almost the best state that they can. So it's all about learning how their body moves, how it flows, and how it should feel when it's its best and what they can do to help it stay at its best. Are their hips working well? Are their shoulders working well? How can we improve that posture? How can we begin to build a good athletic base? Because we knew that at the top end of things in the European and the world competition, they have to be all-round athletes now. There's very few sports whereby every time they go to an event, the terrain's different, the wall's different, the holds are different, everything's different every time. The main thing from today, so if they went home and got on, on Amazon whatever and ordered themselves a foam roller to roll out their backs and shoulders um, and started doing that whilst they warmed up for every climbing session, when they came to the team they'd be flying. You know, um, if they go home and say to mum and dad, can you find me some spinach please and an avocado because I want to make a smoothie tomorrow so I could have more vegetables, we'll be like, yes. And then what it means is, if the National Academy kids are coming into the team already with that, then we can take the team the next step. So that hopefully today, um, they'll, they're getting flavours of all of that. I'd like them to take away that um, quality over quantity is really important. Um, the understanding that it's not just about what you do on the wall, but off the wall as well, that's gonna be really beneficial. 
and I guess the third thing is just the enjoyment aspect. I'll consider uh, my time as team manager successful if in 10, 15 years, all the kids that I currently coach, if I meet them at the crag and they're still enjoying it, or you know, I come down, come down here for a session and they're still here climbing, enjoying it, um, I think that'll be a, you know, a big success as much as the medals. <laughs>